Hello, Orange County High School. Today is Friday, September 27th. I'm Stephen Manchi. And Jade Whitehead. And today for lunch, we'll be having cheesy lasagna with breadstick, taco salad, green bean, fresh baby carrots, fresh fruit or fruit cup. And tomorrow for lunch, we'll be having a pork rib sandwich with popcorn chicken salad, baked beans, fresh baby carrots, fresh fruit or fruit cup. Before getting on to the news, the Mr. O.C. results are in. Trenton Matthews won Mr. O.C., the runner-up is Josh Lyon, and Mr. Personality is Quincy Jones. We would like to congratulate all these high schoolers who, did, who participated and won. <laughs> we are now in the middle of celebrating Hispanic His Heritage Month. Here is a short video. The Department of Defense and Army War College reflect thousands of individuals from countless backgrounds and countries with diverse cultures, histories, and relationships to the United States. Through education, appreciation, and understanding of where we come from as a people, we can better celebrate who we are. This month we pause to observe National Hispanic Heritage Month because of uh, many years with uh, a strong uh, support by the U.S. government. Um, Colombia has been able to build uh, capabilities in order to uh, respond to the internal threat and also be efficient in order to support all the institutions and build security in the country. Since 1978, when the International Fellows Program was established. 196 Latin American Fellows have graduated from the Army War College. Three of these students have since been inducted into the International Fellows Hall of Fame. As the two largest democracies and economies in the Western Hemisphere, the United States and Brazil have a partnership that is rooted in a shared commitment and in expansive, inclusive economic growth and prosperity. The United States and Chile have had a free trade agreement since 2004 that allows the export to Chile of 100% of U.S. consumer and industrial goods. The scope of U.S.-Mexican relations is broad and goes beyond diplomatic and official relations. It encompasses extensive commercial, cultural, and educational ties with some $1.7 billion of two-way trade. To learn more about the rich culture and history of Hispanic heritage in America, and the strong relationships we share, please visit the National Hispanic Heritage Observance at the Latourte View Community Center, Friday, September 21st, from 11.45 a.m. to 1 p.m. I really like the way that video seemed to highlight how our cultures work together to make things better. Today is our last day of Spirit Week before the homecoming game. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jade, but it's orange and blue day, right? Yes, it is. Make sure you wear orange and blue tonight at the homecoming game against Auburn Mall School. If you don't have any orange and blue to wear, you can find something to purchase at the Hornet Hideout. That's right. This week, the Hornet Hideout will have a homecoming sale. Blue and orange shirts for the game are on sale tonight in the store. They are also on sale during lunch in the cafeteria. The shirts cost $12, and for, and for every $25 you spend, you will receive $5 in Hornet Bucks. The pep rally is being held today at 2 o'clock in the field house. While on the subject of the pep rally, we would like to remind students that clubs are still meeting today. Even though the club times have changed in preparation for the pep rally at the end of the day. It is orange and pink clubs today. The club time has changed though to 10.10 to 10.40. So remember, club time is earlier than normal today. Also, the Scholars Identity Club will meet in room 225 and there is no French club. Hey, don't forget there is also the homecoming parade before the game today. Oh yeah, you can check with the SA SCA members for detail and we'd all just want to take a moment to thank all the SEA members and Ms. Jamerson for all the work you do to help create lots of activities for us all to enjoy. Thank you, thank you. <laughs>
we will now pass it off to the sports anchor for all of our Hornet sports news. Thank you, Stephen Jade. First, we want to congratulate the runners that placed Wednesday. Ethan Pajan placed second in the boys race with a time of 16 minutes and 43 seconds. Evelyn Anderson placed first in the girls race and set a new female course record of 21 minutes and 2 seconds. Now today we have only one game, but it is the one that we have all been waiting for, and it is the homecoming game. It is against Albemarle High School at Porterfield Park at 7 p.m. This is going to be an exciting game, and don't forget that there is always a parade before the game, and if you want to participate, see an SCA member. And I hope to see you there showing your Orange County pride and wearing blue and orange. If you are looking for something to do Saturday, there is a varsity cross country game away at Patrick Henry High School and the time has not been announced. Next week, we will start out the sports with we will start out the sports on Monday with a boys varsity golf match at Meadow Creek Golf Course. We'll update you on Monday with the details of the game. Also, a quick reminder to not forget that there is an out-of-season conditioning, and right now there is a boys lacrosse conditioning which started yesterday, and it will be every Tuesday and Thursday until spring season begins after school in the Sizemore Gym. Also, swim conditioning is on Mondays and Wednesdays. I hope to see you guys at the homecoming game, and don't forget to wear orange and blue and show your support for Orange County High School. Now back to the news. Thank you. Today is the last day to sign up for Health and Fitness Week. Check your email for details. Remember, you must participate to be eligible for the reward for the winning grade level. I'm going to sign up for hockey, field hockey. Where are you planning to go? Why, what are you planning on going to sign up for for Health and Fitness Week? I'm going to sign up for walking. <laughs> I believe that is all the news we have we have for today. Um, remember, we are organized, caring, honest, and safe. On behalf of the entire Broadway broadcast team, I'm Jade Whitehead. I'm Stephen Manchie. I'm Christian Smith. And we are OC. OC.